Alrighty, so this is me paying it forward to YouTube doing a little unboxing video for the 20 quart Pelican Elite Cooler. Um, I've seen a lot of these for other products and it really helped me make my decisions. This is one I researched a lot. I'm gonna do a quick edit and uh, just show you guys what's in the box. When it came time to choose a cooler, I was pretty picky about it. Um, I did a bunch of research. I of course looked at uh, Yeti and Orca. Come here. Oh my goodness. There, there you go, okay. So um, I did a bunch of research to choose what I wanted. I ended up going with the Pelican uh, for a few reasons. Um, this is a big one for me, guaranteed for life. I like a company that'll um, you know, fix something if it breaks on me. Uh, made in the USA was cool. Um, and I like the overall design of it. Uh, a buddy of mine has a Yeti and I wasn't crazy about the handles cause they were like these kind of rubbery things that I felt like would, um, would would slow down over time and kind of get loose and break and I'd lose um, the coolness of the cooler. So this is it, I guess upside down. Uh, this is the 20 quart. This is uh, gonna be my like, you know, backseat of the car road trip cooler or, you know, to take to track days. Um, and here we go, here's what I got. All right, that looks pretty darn good. Let me put this here and there's nothing else in there. I mean, that's pretty simple as far as an unboxing goes but let's look through this thing um nice got a good heft to it it's good 20 quart made in the usa that's all nice and big and proud um let's see here three days of ice which is more than i will need but that's awesome uh 15 cans on a two to one rice ice ratio so i read about this um one of the other reasons why i went with the pelican was because the actual amount of cans that you could fit in them on the whole was more because you have your exterior volume and your interior volume. And this one actually had more interior volume than like the Yeti or the Orca, some of the other guys I looked at. Um, those are the main two. Um, oh yeah, and, and, and Arctic. Um, but this one sort of hit all my needs. I was, I was pretty happy with this. Um, this is one of the other factors I was telling you about my buddy that had those handles that were like kind of, you rubber kind of pull them down in here and that just didn't quite make sense to me. So I don't even know how these work fully. Just push in and pull. Oh, that feels really nice. Like super smooth. All right, let's get a extra light. And there she is. Cool. Pelican built to, built to protect. Nice, I like a good sticker. It smells fresh and new. Got a little catalog here that's got the full gamut. The Elite Cooler Collection. Um, let's see, and I am right here with this little guy with the handle. Um, this had a lot of cool stuff that I won't need, like being bear proof. Um, that's neat, but I won't use it. So I guess let's just take a look at this and uh, see um, see what it is that I need to walk through to get to know this thing. Because, um, I mean, it's pretty standard. It smells really new. I wish I could represent the smell. Okay, I was scared at first to pull this sticker off, but then I started pulling it off, and it's one of the nice ones that comes off with no residue. Thank you so much for thinking of that, Pelican. That could have been ugly. So I'm gonna put some cool stuff here. Open and shut, let's see. Snaps, that's secure, I like that. Nice big handle. Ooh, this is actually rubberized. That's actually got a pretty good feel to it. Um, back here, I read this was called the easy groove for your leg. I don't know if that's going to make a difference for me or not, but that's cool. Um, you know, I can't help but notice how tough this thing feels. The rubber feet, which have already gotten dirty. Way to go, me. Um, God, it just feels so stout when you pick it up. I'm super excited about this. I got it on sale, too, which I'm pretty stoked about. I ended up ordering through pelicancoolers.com. I'll put a, a link below. Um, man, that feels really good. Okay, so let's look at what this thing has. Product features. Extreme ice retention, that's cool, a few days of that. Uh, molded in handles, so that's this big guy right here. Get these dog foods there. Let's see, press and pull latches, which we did, corrosion resistant, which is sweet. I mean, am I, so I, I have a handful of coolers. I really like these cute little Playmates because they're plastic, but I also have a big old Coleman. Um, and that poor guy's getting some rust, so it's great for parties or maybe a short road trip, but this thing's gonna actually keep the ice for me, which I'm pretty stoked on. Um, let's see. And the, the other, so I, I gotta say, one of the other reasons why I bought this is because it's slender and tall. Um, like my big Coleman, 
for example, is super wide. It's so cool. Like it's, it's super retro looking, but it can't fit behind the back seat, like in the car. So if we're going on a road trip and we have, you know, the back middle seat open, I can actually stick this behind the driver's seat and, um, and reach in and grab something whenever we need it and have something cold to drink. So let's see, built-in bottle opener. That is right here. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't really have any bottles around to try it on, but I'm gonna assume it works. That's a uh, pretty uh, steadfast technology there. Non-skid feet, which is working pretty good here. Like it doesn't really wanna move because they're nice and rubbery. Molded in tie downs. I'm assuming are these guys. That's pretty cool. Come into that. Yeah, no, that's cool. So I, I saw, I, I was, I didn't know if I was gonna buy it yet or just use like some, some hooks, but I like that it had the molded in tie downs. If I wanted to put something in the trunk of this or in the big guy, um, have it stay in place. Uh, I read somebody put up a review that I really liked and it said that you can still open it when it's in the tied down position, which should be cool for the boat. So if these, come here and you're tied down, you can still open it up. That was another neat feature I liked. Um, let's see, engineered drainage. I don't know what that means, but I'll look it up. Chill first, pack cold, blah, blah, blah. Here's some instructions on how to do it. And uh, a bunch of very extreme people doing extreme things. I don't see any of them driving on a road trip and stopping at restaurants to eat, but that's good for them. Um, this was another feature I liked. I love when a cooler has a place to put my drink additionally. So if I take this to the beach um, or anything like that, we can stick four cups up here or cans. Um, we can take a look. Take a look at the depth. Let's grab one of these guys out of here. Cracking fresh croys for this one. So nice can fitment. I mean. I don't know what you guys want to see. That seems to make sense to me. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then put my lonely can in there. Uh, but it holds quite a few. I mean, 15 cans will do us for a road trip. That's with the two to one ice ratio. And I still have some learning to do on how to best pack these things. Um, Cause it said something like chill first and pack cold. So temperature for extended period of time. So before you head out, Bring your cooler to air conditioning overnight if possible, pre-cool with a load of ice. So that's kind of cool to maximize. Um, and then a two to one ratio on ice, uh, which I looked up. That's basically if you have this much can, have twice that of ice. Um, and that means that's, I guess, how they arrive to 15 cans and then the rest is ice. So I will take the easy route and I will put in 15 cans and then the rest will be ice. Or four bottles of wine if you're fancy. Um, the last bit was that this locked, I won't plan on using that, but maybe somebody has more of a use for it. I think it's still pretty cool. And yeah, that's it. Easy to carry, feels good. That actually is kind of nice compared to the other side. So I, I get the groove, I guess. Um, thoughtful design, pretty cool. Feels easy to walk around with, you know, sits pretty good. And yeah, so. This guy's gonna get a ton of stickers slapped on it. Got a bunch ready, waiting to go on there. So I'm gonna start doing that tonight, make it my own. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there's an unboxing of a uh, Pelican 20 quart Elite Cooler. It's a non-rolling model. This is the one you take with you and go. God, that feels really nice. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it brought you some value like so many people have done for me uh, with unboxing videos. And uh, Good luck, enjoy. I'm gonna put a link where I got it below. They were quick on fulfillment. I was happy. Um, it was pelicancoolers.com.